So then, Newcastle United are ready for their match tonight in Dortmund, but that doesn't stop the news coming in for uh, Newcastle United, of course. With the transfer window just around the corner, we've been linked with a Dutch midfielder uh, as a possible replacement for Sandro Tonali in January. We're also linked again with Ryan Cherky. Now, this is a very, very special player. Leon having a terrible season this year, and he could want a way either in the winter transfer window or the summer. We will have to wait and see on that. Emre Chan is a doubt for Borussia Dortmund tonight. Uh, Eddie Howe has confirmed that Dan Byrne will miss months and a call up to the Brazilian squad for our wonderful duo. So let's dive into all the latest news. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to the Daily News on the Toon Review YouTube channel and of course uh, the news is it never stops with Newcastle United, does it? It really doesn't. Uh, but before we dive in, as usual, guys, if you could, uh, just give it the thumbs up if you do enjoy today's show. And, of course, if you're new, uh, please do subscribe. As you can see there, we are getting closer and closer to 25,000. And with your help, we will get there sooner rather than later. So don't forget to hit the notification bell as well, which will let you know when we schedule all our live shows uh, or we upload any videos such as this. So thank you very, very much in advance for all that, guys. Right. First one, of course, the headline there, Dutchman at Tonali replacement. We have been linked uh, with Tjern Koop Myers. Uh, Koop Myers uh, looks like being the Tonali replacement. He is very, very heavily linked with Newcastle United, but he's also uh, grabbing a lot of attention from Liverpool. Now, we know very much so in previous transfer windows, uh, we have gone against Liverpool, we've gone against Man United, we've gone against some of the top sides in Europe. Uh, Liverpool have come out on top sometimes in their uh, aspirations to sign a player, but so have we. And I think this very much depends on if we can get out of the Champions League group, um, Coop Myers is, 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 is going to sign. I, I have no doubt about that. I think he'll sign if we get through to the next stage of the Champions League. But if we don't, then I think we will face stiff opposition from Liverpool because obviously Liverpool not in the Champions League either. So he's got the choice of the two sides. Now, that's not to say that other sides won't be linked with this guy uh, come January, but he would be an ideal Tonali replacement. And that's certainly what Newcastle are looking at. Now, the deal itself could well be a possible loan with an option to buy in the summer. Newcastle, of course, have Tonali coming back ready for next season. His ban ends in August, of course. So he'll be ready to go again next season. So will they take a look at Coop Myers and think, right, we'll have a look at you for six months. Um, if you prove to be what Newcastle United are looking for, we will make that option to sign. It'd probably be in the region of £48 million. Now, this guy isn't cheap by any stretch of the imagination, which I think is why Newcastle United are probably looking at a loan-to-buy option first, uh, rather than spending £48 million, £50 million in the winter transfer window, which is an awful lot of money, uh, just to replace one player who we know is coming back next season. So uh, there's very, very different reports about this move um certainly you know every one of them is saying that Newcastle and Liverpool are heading the way for this player so Coop Myers could be on his way to Newcastle in the uh, in the winter but we face stiff opposition from Liverpool which is why I think if we make the next stage of the Champions League we will then take front running for this guy but let me know Coop Myers what do you reckon good replacement for Tonali or not now, one player that we have really been interested in for, I would think, the last couple of years, ever since the takeover, to be honest, is Ryan Cherky at uh, Leon. Now, this guy is a very, very talented footballer. We've featured him on a couple of transfer shows now. Um, and the fact that Leon are having an absolute stinker of a season uh, may well uh, persuade Cherky to look elsewhere to try and get silverware. Now, he's only 20. Let's not forget that. He's still a very, very young player. So he's got plenty of time on his hands. But this guy is a serious, serious talent. And the fact that we're linked with him again um, only excites me, to be honest. And it should excite all Newcastle United fans. Uh, Manchester United are also interested in him. Eric Ten Hag has said many, many times that he's a big fan of this player. Um, but Cherky himself hasn't kind of indicated if he wants to leave in the winter or whether it will be a summer move. Uh, I think the way Leon are going this season, I think he'll want to get out of there sooner rather than later. They are having... The bottom of Liga, and I'd, I'd never actually thought that Leon would be in that position for a very long time. They've always been a sort of top six side in Liga, and, and they are just having the worst possible season that ever. Um, so it could persuade him to leave the club. Um, now he's valued uh, at 26 million. I mean, there's no way, in my eyes anyway, this guy would leave for anywhere near that. It's going to be a lot more. 
Uh, now, again, whether Newcastle United search a loan to buy option again in the summer, it all depends on what funds are available for Newcastle United when the transfer window opens. We don't know if the Adidas money is going to be counted in January, whether they can you know, use that against FFP and things like that. Will certain players leave the club? Uh, I, I don't foresee a lot of uh, players leaving the club given the crisis we've got at the moment with injuries, and that may continue for the next several months, um, which I'll come on to a bit later in the show. We've got injury problems, so I think improving the squad and growing the squad is going to be what Eddie Howe uh, and the rest of them are going to be looking at, certainly in the winter. Um, you know, we've got Tenali unavailable. We've just mentioned Coop Myers there as a possible replacement for him. But listen, Ryan Turkey is a forward. We know what he's capable of. I think, he, you know, he can play on either side as well. More so on the right-hand side, I think, is Ryan Turkey's position. So, for me, I say let's go and get this kid. This kid is a is a serious, serious talent, and I would love to see him in a black and white shirt. Um, he was linked with Chelsea, of course, who hasn't been linked with Chelsea in the last uh, couple of seasons. Uh, but that move, for whatever reason, didn't happen. Um, and I think Turkey, you know... I don't think he was quite sure whether he'd get the playing time at Chelsea for obvious reasons. Uh, but for us, I think there's no doubt this kid would get a lot of game time for us. He'd be one of the, the main names on the team sheet despite being only 20 years of age. And, I, you know, I really think we can outdo Man United for him. I really do. I mean, there's, there's nothing to say at the moment Man United have a bigger pulling power over Newcastle. Newcastle United are flying at the moment. Uh, you know, Manchester United are going through, well an apparent rebuild but it's it's fallen apart at the moment isn't it they're not doing very well at all uh and you know long may that continue in my eyes uh certainly when players like ryan Cherky become available but this guy is a talent and i would love to see him in a black and white shirt and i think any newcastle united fan would question is would he leave leon in the winter or will he wait till the summer because you know the way their season's going uh i think ryan Cherky will want to get out of there sooner rather than later but let me know are you excited by the potential signing of somebody like ryan Cherky? a little bit of team news uh regarding the dortmund side for tonight uh emre chan is a massive doubt for dortmund now you may look at emre chan and think well that's no biggie for us but emre chan has played superbly well since he's gone to dortmund uh of course former liverpool midfielder um, skipper of the side as well. He's a very, very good player for Dortmund. And the fact that he might be missing tonight is a huge bonus to Newcastle. Uh, he did go off in the game against us in the previous fixture at St. James's Park um, and hasn't had much football since. Uh, their manager confirmed last night in his press conference that he's day-to-day -day at the moment. So uh, whether they risk him or not, we'll just have to see. He may be on the, uh, on the bench, but again... Uh, that's a bonus for Newcastle United if Emre Chan doesn't start. We know our injury problems. Uh, however, you know, Dortmund do have injury problems of their own. They've got a, you know, a somewhat aging squad as well with, you know, the likes of Royce and Hummels, etc. Uh, so, listen, this game could go either way. Uh, but don't forget, live commentary tonight right here on the Toon Review. And don't forget, it's an early kickoff as well. So we start the show at 5.15 p.m., Kickoff is 5.45, so half an hour build up with me and Billy where we'll go through the team news and uh, get your thoughts ahead of the game. And then 90 minutes will be full play-by-play -play commentary as usual right here on the Toon Review. So get subscribed and uh, it's going to be a cracking game which uh, we're thoroughly looking forward to commentating on. But if Emre Chan is missing for Dortmund, that is a plus point for Newcastle United. Now, we did touch on this on the uh, preview show last night regarding uh, what Eddie Howe had to say about Dan Byrne. Um, it looks slightly worse, to be honest, this morning. The news that we're reading is that Dan Byrne is going to be missing for months. Uh, Eddie Howe has, has come out again and said it's months. Um, this is a massive blow. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. I've been very critical of Dan Byrne at the start of the season. However, the guy has proved me wrong and I couldn't be more delighted. Uh, he's, he's done magnificently well. Uh, at that left-back position this season. When he's gone against the big hitters, we've always thought, oh my God, you know, he, you know, against Dan Byrne. And he's proved us wrong time and time again. Uh, that fall he had uh, on Saturday against Arsenal was horrible. The way he landed, um, you could tell he was winced in pain. But apparently he did tell the bench that he was okay to continue. You know, we did have that discussion last night. You know, should Eddie Howe have brought him off? Should the, uh, you know, the medical staff have advised Eddie Howe, that Dan Byrne wasn't right. Um, I, you know, whether he's done any more damage by staying on the pitch, I'm not so sure. Um, it had probably gone off at half time and felt it stiffening up, felt and felt the pain, and then they've made the decision to uh, to take him off. Uh, but on further uh, scans, etc., he's going to be out for months. Now, 
We know that Matt Target is also going to be out for a few months as well. It looks like he's going to need surgery on his hamstring. So we are literally bollocks at left back apart from Lewis Hall. Now, again, tonight against Dortmund, who knows? Will he go with Trippier left back, Livermore or right back? That seems to be the that seems to be the main course of action and what fans are saying that it's going to be left back Trippier. Now, am I comfortable with left back for Trippier? Yes. It was a bit disjointed against Arsenal, but look, that was all changed at half time. Uh, I'm sure Eddie's done a little bit of work on that since then. Um, and maybe Lewis Hall will play a part in the game at some point. You know, I think he, you know, to throw him in against Dortmund might not be the right answer. You know, we need the experience of Kieran Trippier. And Livermento, of course, has done absolutely wonderfully well when he's come on for Newcastle United. So the main consensus is that uh, it looks like Trippier's going to play left back. But it's a massive blow to Newcastle uh, to be without Dan Byrne and Matt Target uh, for the foreseeable future. And finally, we finish on some good news uh, with uh, the news today that uh, Brazilian duo Joel Linton and Bruno are both into the Brazilian squad for this upcoming international break. Um, a lot of Newcastle fans will think, oh, crap, you know, we need players to have a rest. But let's not forget, Bruno is suspended on Saturday against Bournemouth. So he will get a rest after tonight's Champions League game before he goes away with Brazil. Joel Linton, on the other hand, He's been out for a long time with an injury, hasn't he? So he's, he's, he's coming back and he's fit now. Uh, so I don't foresee fatigue being a problem for Joe Linton either. So I'm delighted for Joe Linton that he, he is getting now the respect he deserves. He's getting the international call-ups that he deserves and that his form deserves because he's been absolutely fantastic for Newcastle United. Everyone knows now, you know, my favourite player for Newcastle is Joe Linton. I think he's is just the rise, Phoenix from the Flames kind of thing, just incredible uh, how we used to have a dig at him all the time and thought, what, what is this £40 million we've spent here? But my God, Eddie Howe has transformed this man and into an absolute superstar. So those two are in the Brazilian squad, which is fabulous news, uh, not just for them, but for Newcastle United as a club as well. We're expanding across the world now, getting these international call-ups. Now it's down to Southgate, of course, to make sure he puts a few Newcastle players into the next squad. Hopefully. Uh, but that is it for today, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As usual, let me know in the comments below what you think of all the news stories. Coop Myers, do you think he's an ideal replacement for Tonali? Are you excited by the possibility of Ryan Cherky? Because I certainly am. He's absolutely brilliant. Um, but let me know in the comments below as usual. Uh, but if you have enjoyed today's show, guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It's really, really crucial to the channel to keep those coming in. And of course, if you're new, Help us on the way to 25,000 subscribers by hitting the subscribe button, which is free to do so. And also the notification bell, which will let you know when we schedule our live shows uh, or we upload videos such as this one. And if you're watching this on Tuesday, don't forget, 5.15 start tonight. Early kickoff in the Champions League with me and Billy for the live watch along. Kickoff is 5.45, half an hour build up and play-by-play -play commentary of the full game. So do not miss that one. It's going to be an absolute belter. But enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, guys. Take care.